This is number 19 for the second test of the AccuPlacer. And here we're looking at three different sets. We have set L, set M, and set N. And in each one of them, they have numbers. So sets L, M, and N and N are shown above. Which of the following sets represents L union and then in brackets M intersection N? The union of L with the intersection of sets M and N. So let's write this out and then figure out how to take all of this apart. So we have L union. The U stands, your union is when you put things together and then we have M, and then intersection. And the way I remember this, U, that looks like a U, and this looks like a lowercase n. So intersection, intersection, N. So let's write these sets out just so you can show them. So we have letter L, and inside of L we have 0, 20, 40, 80 and 100. So we have all five of those numbers 0, 20, 40, 80, and 100. Set M we have 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And then set N is 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So here's the three sets. Now what we want to do is we want to find where this and this intersect. So we're going to focus on M intersection N. And what that means is we're going to look to see which ones are in common, which one are in both. So I see a 5 here, but I don't see a 5 here, so that goes away. So there's no 5 down here, so we don't worry about it. I do see a 10 in both, so that stays. There's no 15 on the bottom, so the 15 goes away. Now there is a 20, so that stays. There's no 25. There's no 25. And then look, there's no 30 up here. So that goes away. The 40 doesn't live up there and the 50 doesn't live up there. So the only things that these have in common are 10 and 20, 10 and 20. So that's the intersection. So this is 10 and 20. The intersection of M and N is the set of 10 and 20. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to take the union of this set of, so we have this set and we're adding it to here. So what I do is I look at this set over here. We have just 10 and 20 union zero, 20, 40, 80, and 100. Now, the nice thing about writing out sets, you don't need to double up. So what I do is I look at both of these, and anytime I find something new in it, I create a new set with all the new information. So this is a bigger set for this union. So I see a zero here, so the zero comes there. And then I look and I say, oh, I see a 10, so I keep the 10. So I'll just cross these off as I go. Now I notice that there's a 20 in both of these. I don't need to write 20 twice. So all I do is I write 20, and then I cross them off so I don't get confused. Then I see a 40. There's no 40 there, but that's okay. So I bring in the 40, then I have an 80, and then 100. So the union of these two sets is 0, 10, 20, 40, 80, and 100, and the way to write that is curly cued bracket, and I just do them in order. 0, 10, 20, 
40, 80, 100. So that's the union of L with the intersection of M and N. So I look at my answers. And I try to find this one, which is 0, 10, 20, 40, 80, and 100. And I see it right there, letter B. That's it. So just like with PEMDAS, you do your parentheses first, and then once you solve that, then you go left to right.